I'm going to knock over the green cone. Ah, oh, come on! What? Why is it so difficult? Come on! Yes! Ah, uh, it's broken. Do you ever want to drive a little ball that's robotic and it drives when you use your phone? Well, then there's a solution for that because this is the Sphero, Sphero, Sphero mini app enabled robotic ball. So this is a little small ball, pretty cool, and it drives when you use your phone. So nice. It has 10 meters of range, phase drive, no idea what that means, USB input of course, and then you get cones in the box and it has 45 minutes of battery life. Drive game code. So this also means you can code your own stuff with this thing, which is also pretty cool. It's already a challenge for me to get this out of the case. So it's a very tiny box, but we get a lot of things in the box. We get a big manual, as you can see, a very cool micro USB cable, which is used to charge this device and with the logo as well in blue, very nice. And then we get the cones, which can be used to play games. These are made from soft plastic and they stick a bit to the table, as you can see. So it's very easy to put them up. Ah, that's actually pretty durable as well. Pretty cool. I'm going to give this a very, very, very quick charge. So pretty cool when you charge this thing up, it um, gives out light and I'm going to show it with this camera so you can see that. So it has different lighting modes as you can see and while this thing is charging we can see that we get one, two, three, four, five, six cones like this and three of these other cones and I don't know what the correct pronunci pronunciation is because I'm not English but these are all cones for me so. So the sound effects on the app and the animations are very cool as well. So it's already updating the mini. I think it's already connected as well. In the app, you of course have different uh, modes and different options. So you get one joystick on the top of your screen, as you can see, which you can use to move the Sphero. But you can also change the driving mode. For example, scream drive. Bah! And then you have to scream to accelerate, which is very cool. Face drive, which uh, probably uses your camera. Then you also have a tilt mode as well. You have the slingshot mode. And then on the bottom right, you have games. You can use your robot as game controller. So round trip, light, speed, drifter, and exile as well. And the other cool thing about this is that you can code your robot um, to make it, to personalize it, and to do your own things with it. But I'm, it's, I think it's almost charged now. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to take it for a spin. Ooh. Whoa. Oh. All right, so it's pretty durable as well. I've already seen that. I don't think this is something you play on your tabletop because it can fall off as you can see. Well, I'm now going to use the screen drive. Hello, this is Simon from the Red Ferret and I'm using this mini Sphero while I'm talking. I but this is actually quite a lot of fun, if you ask me. Ah! So the screen drive is a little bit difficult and a little bit weird. So the face drive.
I think the face drive mode is pretty cool because it drives when you smile, it drives forward when you smile, and it drives backwards when you don't smile or when you're, when you're um, angry. And these are the different modes you need to use in order to drive in the different directions. So that's actually a pretty nice idea and pretty well uh, thought out in my opinion. So this, this is the first time I tried something like this and pretty cool, a lot of fun. And especially for children, this will be a blast. I'm going to use this with children and they're going to have a blast. I can already know it. So I also have the tilt option, which is probably... I was going to say that this was, this was going to be the easiest way to drive this thing, but it's definitely not. I'm going to knock over the green cone. Ah, oh, come on! What? Why is it so difficult? Come on! Yes! Ah, uh, it's broken. Right, so I've tried all the different modes for driving. I think the joystick and the tilt uh, option is the best one for me. But it's just a lot of fun using this device. This is this is pretty cool. Um, the ID generally is perfect. I really love the ID. You also have a battery indication on the bottom. And uh, this is very well made and very well thought out. It's really cool. Uh, one annoying thing for me is that you have to reset it every time when it, uh, it falls down. But... Um, you should use this on a flat surface, not on a table where it can fall down. Um, that's not really uh, what this is intended for. So the last thing I want to check out are the games. So you have Lightspeed Drifter, which is probably a race game or something. And you also have Exile 2, which is a shooter, and Round Trip, which is something else. So I'm going to try the first one, Exile 2. This is a shooter. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so you have to use the Sphero. In order... To aim with the thing on your screen, as you can see, that's actually pretty nifty. So last game I'm going to check out is the uh, Airspeed Drifter, what's it called? Lightspeed Drifter. So that game is a little bit more difficult to play with the Sphero, but this is amazing. This is one of the coolest things I've already tried out. This is just very cool. It's a lot of fun and I would definitely suggest this for your kids or for you. This is a lot of fun. You'll have a lot of fun and just the different ways of driving this thing. Looking happy makes it drive forward, for example. That's just mind blowing. This is one of the first things, one of the first times I've already heard something that it, that it works with facial expressions. So it's very cool and I would definitely suggest this. All right, my cameras are running out of juice, so I have to stop this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions regarding this Faro Mini, let me know in the comment section down below, because I'm going to be playing with this thing in the coming hours of this day, of the next day. Yeah, okay. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. If you did, leave this like and tell us why, so we can improve our videos. And I hope I'll see you, yes, you who's watching this behind your phone or behind your computer screen in our next video. Bye-bye.